I would have loved to play more years with Tony Dorsett. I played just three years with him, and uh, you know he's just a phenomenal football player. He had moves, so he made a lot of big plays, but he, he had exceptional speed. Goal line defense for the Vikings, a handoff door set up the middle. Here he goes, cuts to his right, going all the way, goal! To the 30, to the 40! He's got two men to me, to the 40, to the 30, to the 20, to the 10, the 5, the goal! It wasn't just running outside and running run away from people. He was very tough inside. But everybody said he wasn't big enough. I mean, what, are, what are they talking about? The guy's got good size. Tony could run inside with the speed he had at the outside. He could do everything. Back to the goal line, pass is tipped. Blocked by Dorsett anyway at the 15. Dorsett at the 20, breaks the tackle to the 30. Down the near sideline to the 40. That's back to the middle of the field. He may go all the way. What a eight yard pass out there to him, and I get credit for a 95 yard touchdown. I mean, <laughs> there's not too many guys that can do that. Before Tony Dorsett arrived, the Cowboys had a dynamic offense, yet they lacked an explosive runner to complement Pro Bowl quarterback Roger Staubach. We kind of went three years after Calvin Hill and Dwayne Thomas, with I, I might have been the leading rusher. And then we got Tony in 77, and man, it was like a godsend. Dorsett would make the offense complete, but his impact wasn't immediate. It took time for the rookie's free-flowing style to mesh with Tom Landry's structured playbook. We were running practice, and I'm rolling this thing, and our defense, you know, playing the mock defense of the Cardinals. And so they went, and I seen it, it broke all the way back across, back behind the center. It will never in a hundred years ever break like that. Stay on side. I said, Coach Landry, I gotta run to what I see. You drafted me to be a runner, let me run. I rolled slant 24, and it broke back just like he said it would never break in 100 years. He's to the 30, the 20, the 10, the 5, Tony Dorsett, touchdown! And the next day in the meeting, Coach Landry comes in and he says, okay, Tony's a different type of runner. What you guys are going to have to do as offensive linemen, you're just going to have to put your hats on your guy, and he's going to run to what he sees. From that point on, I was able to become TD. In 1977, Dorsett went on to win Rookie of the Year and helped Dallas win its second Super Bowl. He became the first player to gain more than 1,000 yards in each of his first five seasons. Before he retired, Dorsett trailed only Walter Payton on the all-time rushing list. He was a great football player. The things he did were special. He's not only in the top 100, he's, he's right there in the top running backs of all time. <laughs> 